Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Woody from Woody's Real Time Fishing and today I got YouTube subscriber Cordell with me fishing. About to put him on some sheep's head. He never caught a sheep's head before or a trout or a redfish. I think he caught a redfish, but um, in this corner we got Cordell and out there in that other corner we got sheep's head. So we gonna, he been through a lot of training, been to Walmart, did some watching videos. So we about to put them to the test and see what we can do today. So stay tuned for that. Catch y'all later. All right, everyone, as y'all know, or you may not know, you've never seen, this is the great wall of sheep's head. See all the barnacles? We already chummed in here. We got our chum right there. We got our, our chum right here. We got some oysters if you want to use them. We got filler crabs. We dug for filler crabs yesterday and this morning. So see, he. Cordell's ready to go. I'm ready to go. So my nose is running. That's ready to go. So we better go. So you'll be get back to y'all. It's cold out here. All right, y'all. First fish of the day. It's a sheep's head. Full of crabs. At the wall, great wall of sheep's head. And Cordell just got one. Got him his first sheep's head. Nice one. Alright, we're gonna put him on a stringer for you. Alright, here you go. Fish number two. Ooh. Yeah, just in case. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Fish number two. Well, three and all for all of us. All right, y'all. Oh shit. Got a nicey. Oh crap. He's nicey. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. That's what they supposed to look like. Two. Yeah. Number three. Yeah, that's me. Inches, so he says 12 inches. Yes, he did make the cut. I knew he was in there. That time. He's 10 inches. He is 10 inches, 11 inches. Good. Little bugger and biting. Hey, I was just playing and I caught these pelicans over, and our fish was in the water and they tried to just take our fish. 
Look at him. It's devious. I almost lost some of my sheep's head. Daddy gonna try to mess up our fishing lines. Look at this mess. This is nonsense. Get away! They try to find some way to get our fish. They go to the other conniving one right there. He's just waiting for us to put our fish back in the water. Look at that mess. Oh, we had to almost had to play tug of war with him. Yeah, y'all, we're about to move because uh, it's three pelicans and we almost got ambushed. They kept on coming close to the boat. So, yeah, we're about to uh, move to a different location so they leave us alone. Hey, help us! We're being attacked! Help! They're after us! Oh my gosh! They, they, they know who got the fish! We pissed them off! They're trying to poop on us! Get away! Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Woody from Woody's Real Time Fishing and this is just my outro to uh, yesterday's uh, video. Um, yesterday, as you all know, I took uh, my YouTube subscriber Cordell out fishing. You know, he never caught a sheep's head before. We did accomplish that mission. He did get his first sheep's head ever. And even though we didn't catch that much, you know, he did catch a fish. So he didn't get skunked and he's happy with that fish. You know, he accomplished one of his goals. So that was a good thing. Thank you, Cordell, for coming out with me. And uh, hope you had a good time yesterday. Another note, uh, I would like to give a shout out to uh, Mike, one of my YouTube subscribers who I saw who saw me in uh, Bass Pro and came up, told me how much he enjoyed my videos. Uh, thank you for watching, Mike. You know, nice meeting you. And uh, we're gonna get up on some of those bass uh, soon. So I'm gonna give you a call soon, and uh, we're gonna hook up and catch some of them bass. All right? Or well, I'm gonna take you out on my boat. So. Uh, and uh, stay tuned. Up next is I got a request to show how to, I clean my sheep's head. So that'll be up next. As soon as I get home, I'm going to pull that big boy out and uh, show you how I fillet my sheep's head. So I would like to uh, thank everybody for watching. You know, like, subscribe, and uh, hope to provide another video for y'all soon. Right now, I'm on my lunch break. I'm about to go see what these sheep's head do here. I got an hour to spare, so see what I can do. If I catch something, no, I'll let y'all know. Probably be a little bit of footage there. All right, later. Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Woody. And like I said, I'm about to show y'all how to uh, fillet a sheep's head. So here we have our sheep's head. I just get the sheep's head. Then we have, I use, got the Bubba knife. It runs about $50 at Bass Pro or online. So we got the Bubba knife. And I got the uh, Miracle Blade, see right there. And these are two knives I use. Then I got my board right here that I use to clamp the fish onto. So uh, let's get started. All right, y'all. First thing what you wanna do, take the fish, and you gotta clamp it to that. Well, you don't have to, but. I take my uh, miracle blade knife and I cut right behind the fence, like so. And just make a sweep. slice to his head. Then I take my bubble knife, just go along his rib cage right here, like so. Go along his rib cage. I'm not going all the way in to the tip of this knife is going in. And once I get to the tail, I put it all the way through. Then fillet all the way down to the tail. Then with my bubble knife, I'm just gonna go against the rib cage. See, just go against the rib cage like so. meat on this side then once I'm through the rib cage I'm gonna take this bubble knife and I'm gonna go all the way up through the bone and everything then 
crack through these bones. Then we'll come up with the knife and cut all this off. Do all that. Okay. So now I have this fillet right here, and as you can see. It's all bones right there. All the meat gone. And then the organs are still right there, as you can see. Nothing but bone. So I'm going to only do one side. So, so once I got that filet, I'm going to put this filet on, on my little filet thing like so. See, there's the filet. I'm going to start at the tail. And I'm going to work my way all the way down to the fish. All the way down. The bone and everything. Now you see, you can make some sheep's head shoes with this skin if you want. I'm gonna just throw mine away. And here you got the fillet. Just gotta take the back, this little rib cage out. So I just cut along the rib cage like so. And they have a uh, your fillet right here in the middle. There's like little bones, so I just usually cut this part out because it's like some little teeny bones in here. This part, so I'm gonna do is slice that edge and slice that edge. And this is the part I just cut out right here. And I use this for like fish nuggets, and I use this to fry or bake. This fillet right here. So it's got a nice one fillet. And that's how I fillet my sheep's head. So I might as well do the other side for y'all real quick. So once again, put it on here, take a miracle blade, cut along the head. Like so. Then I'm going to cut along the rib cage right here. With the tip of this knife, when I get to the tail, I'm going to go all the way through. And right here, I'm going to just slice along the rib cage, like so. I'm gonna go all the way back up with my knife. I turn around. I'm gonna cut through the ribs and everything. Some people made it the easy way, but. This way it's faster for me. I don't have time enough, you know, to go all above the rib cage and stuff. This, this is faster for me, and this bubble knife is good. So then I'm gonna put it on the thing, and then I'm gonna cut against the skin like so. Then I'm gonna cut the rib cage out. And there you have the bone part, so I'm cutting the middle of that. Cut the middle of this. Or you can cook it if you feel like picking bones out. And one sheep's head, I got two fillets and two small pieces, so 
That's the total meat that I have right here. Our one sheep's head. And the rest of it is just bone. Bone. And it's trash. So again, thanks for watching Woody's Real Time Fishing and how to fillet a fish. And um, I think I'm gonna go show you how I season my fish, but I'm not gonna cook it today. So I'm just gonna head and uh, season it up so y'all see that. So stay tuned for that. I'm back. Let's see if we can get this camera here. I'm back. And uh, now, you, as you see, I got my fish right here. These are the two seasons I use. I use uh, this uh, dry mojo seasoning and I use a uh, beer can seasoning. So, what I'm do is I'm just going to. Put some uh, beer can seasoning on it. If you, you put a lot of this because it, you don't really, uh, it doesn't, it's not really salty. It just gives a lot of flavor. Then what I'm gonna do, I put a little bit of uh, mojo seasoning on top of that. I just sprinkle a little bit over it. Then I flip my fish over. And I do the same for this side. And then a big can of seasoning. And there you go. Then I'll put it in a plastic bag and let it sit for like a couple, uh, maybe a day or so before I eat it, or maybe uh, 30 minutes or so. Then I'll go eat it so the flavor can get in it. But there you have it. That's how I season my fish, and I usually bake it for like 30 to 45 minutes in the oven. So thanks for watching again, y'all.